Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Dr. Ali Qasim and today I will talk about the dairy or milk uh, products. Uh, we will talk about yogurt, we will talk about uh, cheese, uh, many types of cheese and also the milk powder. And we will see if they are suitable for diabetics. First of all, allow me to thank my family members, those who subscribe to the channel. Thank you so, uh, thank you so much uh, with gratitude. We should know what we eat. Why we should do that? Because we don't want to increase our blood sugar and our cholesterol, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and uh, even our blood pressure, uh, or we gain weight. The energy sources for our body are fat, protein, and carbs. Milk is one of these resources. And if you need to know or you want to know uh, more information about milk, there is a video in the channel is milk suitable for diabetics? What about the milk products like yogurt, like cheese, etc.? Are they all suitable for diabetics or not? Let's find out. Yes, however, with conditions and with being cautious. Uh, some people say we prefer to take the fat-free, fat-free milk. No, no, no. When we take low-fat milk or fat-free milk, we can't digest. Our body will never absorb the, the benefits of vitamin A and E and K. Why? Because these are fat-soluble uh, vitamins. We will not gain any benefits from it. We, As if we are just taking sugar and water. If you would like to know how much your body needs of vitamin and mi minerals, uh, you can watch this video also in the channel. I prefer to advise everybody to take whole milk if you want to uh, drink milk. And take only 100 ml and consider you are taking one spoon of lactose one spoon of sugar uh, you may add it to the coffee if you'd like without sugar because you already have one uh, cube or one table one teaspoon of sugar if you have high cumulative sugar uh, ha1c please do not consume it because it will raise your blood sugar to worse and there will be a video about hba1c uh, to, to explain what is it and uh, everything about it. I advise uh, to take or to consume fresh milk, grass-fed. It's hard to find. However, it's available. If you look in the supermarkets, you can find it, grass-fed, because God knows what they are feeding these uh, animals and farms and factories. They also give some hormones to increase the milk quantity. Let's talk about the first product, which is the best among all the products, which is ghee. Ghee is uh, melted butter. You can use ghee instead of the vegetable oils, the, the, these oils that give us all the trouble and the health problems. And also the vegetable uh, uh, margarine, you can just delete them, uh, vegetable oil and margarine, you can just delete them and use ghee instead, which is tastier and nicer. Ghee is loaded with vitamin A, D, E, and K. It's very good for, for our health and have very little lactose, very amount, inconsiderable at all. Those who have uh, lactose intolerance can use ghee with no problem. I prefer also to make it at home. And if you search YouTube, you can find uh, so many videos about how to make ghee at home from milk. Every 15 grams, one tablespoon of ghee contains uh, 130 calories and 14.8% grams of fat. It's almost all fat, healthy fats. Uh, there is something bitric acid in the ghee, which is very beneficial for our health. Butter is also similar to ghee. However, it has more lactose, more lactose. Every 15 grams of butter has 110 calories. It also has 12 grams of fats. It also has or contain bitric acid. Uh, the, one of the benefits, most important benefits of uh, ghee and butter reduces constipation uh, tremendously. It's, it's very good for constipation. Consuming one spoon of uh, uh, ghee in the morning, it will help reduce constipation very well and it will clean the colon completely. Because if we want to have good health, our colon must be always clean. There will be a video about causes and methods of treating constipation. However, I will mention a very fast method. Just take one tablespoon of ghee before you go to the toilet or half an hour. 
then you will see what will happen. It will really clean, help you to clean your colon. Let's talk about yogurt. Yogurt has 3.6 grams of carbs for each 100 milliliter. However, potassium has 141, higher many times than the sodium, which is okay to use, no problem. Uh, if we talk about taking low fat uh, yogurt, I don't think uh, I advise for that. Why? Because it's the same thing. We will not take vitamins. And please stay away from flavored yogurt, strawberry flavor, mango. These are not mangoes or, or, or real fruit. These are either jams or just colored, colored and sugar, nothing, nothing more. Uh, if we talk about the hard uh, uh, yogurt, less lactose than yogurt itself it's safe no problem and it has only 3.2 grams of carbs sodium 60 milligram and potassium 141 potassium still higher than sodium which is good for us let's talk about cheese the best cheese is the feta cheese the white cheese the cheese that made uh, from milk only three grams of carbs which is absolutely fine however the sodium is so high sodium is very high many many times than the potassium that's why you need to consume it with a lot of vegetables and probably some olives cheddar is okay no problem four grams of carbs only not 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 much you can consume it uh, not more than 100 uh, grams per day cheddar has 620 milligrams of uh, sodium and only 100 milligram of potassium which is need to be consumed with vegetables also Mozzarella is very good. Sodium, 16 milligram and 90 milligram of potassium. Is it suitable for diabetics? Yes, it is. These cheese, the one I mentioned, yes, it's okay for diabetes or for the people with the diabetes to consume it. Uh, however, we can't just mix it with sugar and uh, starch or carbs. Like we use bread or all this kind of stuff inside the hamburger, inside this and that. No, it will be harmful. For weight loss, the same thing. We consume 100 uh, grams of the, the allowed cheese. What about the sliced cheese? These slices, it's cooked processed cheese, 16 gram of carbs. Where these carbs come from? Potato, bread, flour, flavoring. Of course, that's how it's too much difference between this processed cheese and the other processed cheese, the one I mentioned earlier. And uh, sodium, is about 1,700 milligram. It's very high. And potassium is only 300 milligram. So we avoid eating or consuming this kind of cheese. What about these triangles or the square ones? I don't want to mention uh, brands. No, it's the same thing. Carb 16 grams also. Sodium 1,700 milligram and potassium only 300 milligram. Sodium very high. Please avoid it if you can. What about milk powder? Milk powder is... Is, is crazy. I don't know why. 30 to 38 grams of carbs in 100 grams of milk powder. Why? Because milk powder is made of milk, sugar, flour, sodium, bicarbonate, and they add a lot of vitamins, a lot of things. We uh, do not need all this kind of stuff. I advise not to take the uh, milk powder. However, some people say infants need to have milk to grow. Fine. That's okay. If a woman can't lactate, there is no milk in, in the woman's breast, we can humanize the milk of the cow. How? One third. One third of the, of the uh, glass to be uh, uh, cow milks and three quarters or two thirds will be uh, uh, boiled water. Uh, why? Because milk, uh, the, the animal's milk is designed to quickly enlarge the body of the animal in a matter of months it will become 500 or 600 kilograms, the animal. So we have to humanize that milk. we we'll give it to our babies rather than give them uh, the milk powder. Ladies and gentlemen, most of our health problems are from wrong eating, consuming the wrong food. And uh, we have to be careful with what we eat. However, are we careful? No, most of us are not careful. We just eat whatever we think is delicious and nice. Uh, neglecting that maybe this is the problem with our health or the cause of the problem. Please stay away from sugar to keep your blood sugar normal. Stay away from sugar as much as you can. Reduce all the carbs and eliminate them if possible. 
uh, don't eat this fruit at all. There is a video about it. You can uh, see which fruit is really uh, very bad for diabetics. Uh, consume more vegetables and try it by yourself. Try just only for two weeks, reduce all these things and check your blood sugar. And I'm talking here about without medication. Those who are taking medication, please be extra careful and check your blood sugar every now and then. If you tried something <clears throat> and it worked for you, please give us a comment. Thank you so much. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe and you will not regret it. Please share this video if you like it with everyone you care about. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.